Ball is dangerous with the ball in his hands. Goes to Luke Ball, dropping back his revolt. It's in his ballpark. The Giant from the West. The lead up to that game is unlike any other home and away game I've been, been a part of. A pretty unique circumstance, both teams being 13-0. and 0. Uh, and it was huge. I think there was something in the paper every day you know, about different matchups leading into the game. And, and really for both teams by that stage, we knew we were going to be playing finals football. Um, so it was, it was a really interesting dynamic, but the, the build-up was, build was massive. Both sides in their peak and both sides have been compared to each other for so long uh, through the 2001 Super Draft when they got Ball and uh, Del Sano, Clark, and we got Bartel, Johnson. Kelly. It was built up like a final. Yeah, two. I don't know if it had ever, ever been done before, but two sides unbeaten by round 14 um, was incredible. We'd had a pretty good rivalry with Geelong, even up until that point. Um, we played off in a few big games. He's given it a ride. Milne waits, but rules come from nowhere. Fine bounce, plenty of time. Short one, half volley. Dawson goes back to Blake. Barco's got him. Taking it all in, Mark Thompson, the kick inside the floor. That's a terrific, Mark Bartel. Every little contest, you know, the, the um, consequences of, you know, of every little um, thing, you know, there's a tap on a miss mark or, you know, you just got hurt every time. It was the two high skill sides that uh, played footy the hardest um, and still uh, probably the best game that I've played in until today. You know, that's what you love playing in those sort of games, those high pressure, high intensity games. and. Um, yeah, it was. Well, I just remember the game being really fast and, and really brutal. It's still, still in. Uh, I think myself and a lot of players' mind, still the best game of football. We're like standard, the way the game was played, style, everything that we've played in, as far as a football, like pure football point of view, it's still the best game we've played in. Montagna, always dangerous with the ball in his hands. Goes to Luke Ball, dropping back his revolt. It's in his ballpark. How he held on to that footy because he, he hit the pack at such pace. I remember seeing on the, on the vision after the game that he'd come from about the 50 and, and run about 30 or 40 metres in. But it was, uh, yeah, it was a huge grab. Just seeing Gardy just take those big long strides um, and, and take that big mark and the, the sound was just deafening. You know, instead of trying to spot someone inside 50, I, um, I kicked it as long as I could to the top of the goal square and of course the, uh, the big show Gardy did the rest and I mean, he took an unbelievable mark really. It was one of the marks of the season in the circumstances. It was a very similar mark to what Nick Natanui took last year to win that game. Uh, he flew over the top in a pack, uh, plucked the mark a mark that he should have never taken. I don't think, I think he closed his eyes, but uh, he was in some great form that day and, and pulled it down. Michael Gardner, uh, the bugger, lives in Port Melbourne next to me now, and he, uh, he was best on ground, clearly. Rucked all day and pushed forward hard and kicked goals, and that one at the end was just enormous, you know. I would have been proud of it if uh, one of my players that had taken it. It was, uh, it was fantastic. The giant from the west. The cat is down. He hasn't moved. Well, he is moving slightly. That's Harry. Harry Taylor. Oh. I was in the pack, so I remember. Um, I remember I was in the pack, and um, Harry Taylor was on me, and, and Nick sort of come across from the side. And the first thing I noticed was that Harry was on the ground and had hardly moved. I think Nick's elbow might have might have collected him on the way through. One of our other ruckmen, unfortunately, couldn't get some body on him, and he flew and. Um, bang, got me flush on the corner of the head and um, I was out before I hit the ground. Um, I remember waking up in the change rooms and um, yeah, it's interesting how you react to um, concussion. For me, I always just kept going over the same questions all the time. I kept asking the trainers, did we win? I'd say we lost. Um, how many goals did Rewalt kick? And they'd say three. And uh, 20 seconds later, did we win? How many goals did Rewalt kick? And this went on for about five minutes. And then Cameron Mooney walked in and said we actually won and then re to kick 10. Um, at this stage I was sort of in tears. <laughs> I know big old Blakey was about 40 metres away trying to chase him. Um, he was a bit slow off the mark and left him forward and he ended up winning the game for him. And there was a long break after that. Harry got concussed and 
Uh, it would have been nice if Michael had to kick it under fatigue instead of having probably a couple of minutes off where Harry got had to get carted off. Taylor's off the grab. Lost line, willing this kick through. If he kicks it, he doubts and Kilda can lose. He's kicked it. He gave a little fist pump and the tongue out, and um, I don't don't think it was intended for anyone. I think it was just the emotion of um, knowing the impact that he'd, he'd made in that game and, and his contribution. I remember sort of looking at some of the other Geelong guys, you know, when scores were level a few times, and we we're almost sort of you know, laughing about it because we knew how big the build up had been, and you know, the fact that we were tight, you know, level. Uh, so deep into the game, it was almost sort of comical. Um, but the, the crowd noise was, um, you know, it's a, that's the loudest I've ever heard a crowd at Eddie Had Stadium. It was, a, it was a great atmosphere. Yeah, I just remember it being relief. I, I just remember we didn't really celebrate, really. I think everyone was just too exhausted and, and just knowing that you've just been part of a pretty special game. It was an awesome game. Probably the best home away game I've, I've been involved in, no doubt. Close to the boundary line. Gardner! Rises like a colossus. We talked about him before the game. Attack them at their weakness. For the last month, it's been okay. Secure the win.